Good afternoon. Welcome to the 143rd commencement ceremony for Shafton High School. My name is Scott Loomis, principal of CHS. Welcome graduates, friends, family, faculty. It is an honor to have you all here with us on this very special day. Today we are presenting diplomas and diploma covers to 119 students. Last Friday, many of these students received over $226,000 in local scholarship money, with many receiving scholarships and grants from institutions that they are attending. CHS is especially proud of our class of 2022. They were able to persist through the uncertainty of a pandemic and disruptions in the normal educational process. It is my hope that our 2022 graduates have learned the perseverance needed to be successful, and I hope they each find their passion in the world. With that being said, I'd like to introduce the administration and special guests on stage with me. Please stand and remain standing when I call your name, and please hold your applause until the end. First, the members of the Coshocton City Board of Education. Board member, Mr. Dave Shutt. Board member, Mrs. Susie Mann. Board member, Dr. Jerry Butcher. Board Vice President, Mr. Sam Bennett. Board President, Mr. Phil Hunt. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. David Heyer. Treasurer, Ms. Terry Ironman. Commencement Speaker in CHS Class of 1969, Mrs. Ann Lepla. Shopton High School Assistant Principal, Mr. Kevin Yoder. Shopton High School Assistant Principal, Mrs. Kaylee Andrews. And Career Center Superintendent, Mr. Matt Colvin. All right, at this time, our superintendent, Dr. Heyer, will say a few words and welcome the representatives of the 50-year class. It's a party, I guess. Thank you, Mr. Loomis. You know, on behalf of the Coshocton City Schools, I just want to say congratulations to each and every one of you graduates that are here today, representing the class of 2022. I wish all of you the very best in your future endeavors, and I know that you will continue to do great things, so congratulations for a job well done. I say that every year because that is what my high school principal always said. He said every time on the announcements, every time there was a victory, with an athletic team or for the, uh, uh, the drama group and for productions that they put on, he would always say congratulations for a job well done. And so I want you to take that to heart. You know, as the class of 2022, I was reflecting a little bit and you had to endure three years of disruptions and the challenges that were associated with our pandemic, beginning with your sophomore year if you remember that far back. Now, to you guys, that was a while ago. That was like three years ago, right? The, in March of 2020, of 2020. But for us older people, time goes by very quickly. And I think that you'll see from the class of 1972 that time does go by quickly, so make the most of it. Now, do you remember what happened in 2020 in March? And all of a sudden, you didn't have school. We weren't coming. I think your parents remember that because you were at home with them. So your last normal year was your freshman year. Now it's hard to believe all the challenges that you've had to face, but you have persevered and you have risen to those challenges. And now, because of all your hard work, it's paid off and it's allowed you to embrace this special moment. So I want you to know that we are all very proud of you. I know you've had tremendous support and encouragement from your parents and your family members, as well as from your teachers and other staff members, coaches, advisors, and others along the way. I want to thank all of our staff members for their tremendous efforts throughout this school year. And you parents and family members must also be congratulated 
And I thank you for your guidance and the sacrifices that you've made for your students along the way. Students, I hope that you're grateful and remember to thank those individuals for their love, support, and encouragement. Now graduates, would you please join me in showing your appreciation to your family and your loved ones with a round of applause. Okay, so in less than an hour, I don't know what time it is, it felt like we got started a little late, so in about 44 minutes or so, you're going to be heading out into the real world. You're going to go out there and you're going to achieve greatness. When you leave here today, I hope that you will have plenty of opportunities to find success in life and to make the world a better place. So, for the benefit of our audience, let's find out what all of you are planning to do. I know you have some great plans for the future, so we need a little graduate participation. So listen carefully, but please stand if you are planning to continue your education by attending a college, a university, or a technical school. You may be seated. I was waiting for Olivia to smile, and she finally did. All right, how about if you would stand if you're planning to learn a skilled trade or enter into an apprenticeship? Do we have anyone? Thank you. Please stand if you're planning to directly enter the workforce. At some point, you know, mom and dad might kick you out of the house, I'm not sure. And especially fitting this Memorial Day weekend, please stand if you're planning to serve in the armed forces. Thank you, and we thank you for your service. So audience, as you can see, our graduates have some big dreams and some big plans. Now, I want to leave this graduating class with one thought. Dr. Jim Mahoney was a longtime superintendent in this region, and he, as well as he became the first director of what is called Battelle for Kids that is out of Columbus, Ohio. He used to say that if we each had a dollar and we traded a dollar, we'd still each only have one dollar. But if we would each trade an idea, then now we both would each have two ideas. And if you smile at someone, they can't help but smile back at you. So it, it doesn't always take money to make an impact. Often, it just takes a smile and an idea that you're willing to share with others. So graduates, I hope that you're able to share plenty of ideas and plenty of smiles with those around you throughout your life. I'm inspired by all that this class has been able to accomplish during these unprecedented times. And again, we are all so very proud of all of you. So congratulations again to all of our graduates and families. May you be richly blessed in all that you do. Okay, I know I'm only supposed to be talking for a couple minutes here, but this is the real reason that I'm also here today, and that is for the past 93 years, it's been our tradition at Coshocton to honor and recognize the 50-year class of Coshocton High School. So graduates, they're seated on your left today, and they were in your place 50 years ago. They were contemplating their futures, and they shared a, a ceremony, I believe, with a group that was from 1922 at the time. Seems kind of hard to believe. But 50 years from now, think about it, you graduates will be invited back to attend a ceremony that'll have the class, that'll be for the class of 2072. This is why math is important, okay. Now, before that happens, you'll have spent a lifetime making memories and making your dreams come true. And I am confident that you too will make the world a better place. Now, the class of 1972, I think, was the third class that actually gra graduated out of this building. 
And from those original 249 members, now while many of them still live across the United States, it's worth noting that 64 still reside somewhere in Coshocton County. Now today, I think we were planning to have a few more. Their reunion is not gonna be until September, but we have, I think, 15 members from the class of 1972 with us today. They've successfully met the challenges and all the changes that have happened in society, and they've helped to forge a path that the class of 2022 will shortly follow. So on behalf of the entire school district and the Coshocton community, I want to express my thanks and my gratitude to all of you in the class of 1972. We're honored to have each of you here with us today, and I would like to introduce you at this time. As I call your name, would you and your spouse or your guest please stand if you're able, or you can raise your hand to be recognized. And I would ask that the audience would please hold your applause until all have been recognized. So, are we ready to go, class of 1972? You guys ready? I, I, I heard you were a little more, you know, boisterous and, you know. You got, okay, are you guys over there? Yeah. All right, all right, here we go. All right, so we're going to start with James Lewis Barrick Jr. from Gahanna. We have Shirley Mae Eckleberry Simmons from Zanesville. We have Gary Brent Grace from West Lafayette. We have Vernan Holmes Grace, also from West Lafayette. I think you guys might know each other if I'm not. Okay, they're married, so. <laughs> Gary Hosfeld from Coshocton. We have Lenny Jarvis Jr. from Coshocton. Mary Frances Latham Butcher from Coshocton. Thomas James Miser from Coshocton. Rebecca Sue Miller-Brown from Coshocton. Sadie Mae Murphy Davis from Coshocton. Mary Longstreth Doherty from Coshocton. Sharon Smales uh, Shirts from West Lafayette. Frank Robert Smith from Coshocton. Jackie Ellen Thornsley Cox from Coshocton. And Keith Wilson from Coshocton. I hope that I've got everyone. If somebody slipped in late, if you'd please stand so I don't want to miss anyone. But ladies and gentlemen, representing 50 years of excellence, the Coshocton High School class of 1972. Okay, so another tradition that we have at Coshocton is that we want to introduce grandchildren of the members of the class of 1972 who are in the present graduating class of 2022. So it's a pleasure for me to recognize this connection over two generations as I present the following in individuals. So if you would, please stand when I call your name. So I want to present Lenny Jarvis Jr. from the class of 72 with both of his grandsons, and I think that's the first time I've had to say that. Abe Jarvis and Alec Lopper from the class of 2022. Thank you. I also present uh, Rebecca Miller Brown from the class of 72 with her granddaughter, Caitlin Fick. Thank you. I present to you Mary Longstreth Doherty with her granddaughter, Autumn Jones. I present Frank Smith with his grandson, Blake Alexander. And finally, I present Jackie Thornsley Cox with her granddaughter, Allison Cox. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Loomis back to the podium for a special scholarship presentation from the class of 1972. Thank you.
On behalf of the class of 1972, I'd like to present two scholarships to two students whose grandparents happen to be graduates of 1972 and are in attendance today. This year's recipient of the annual class of 1972 scholarship are Allison Cox and Alec Lopper. Thank you to the class of 72 because they've been giving out a scholarship that we give out annually and we, I'd like to recognize everyone for creating that scholarship fund and continuing to give back to our students, so thank you. Now, it is with great pleasure that I get to introduce today's commencement speaker, Mrs. Ann Lepla. Mrs. Lepla is a 1969 graduate of Coshocton High School and a 1974 graduate of The Ohio State University, where she worked in the same office as Woody Hayes. She married John Lepla, a CHS grad in 1971, on August 3rd, 1974, and began teaching eighth grade science at CHS in the fall of 1974. After staying home with her son, Matt, a 2000 CHS grad, from 1980 to 1986, Mrs. Lepla came back to CHS to teach, in her words, junior varsity chemistry and physics until her retirement. I know there are many of you in this room that had her as a teacher. Mrs. Lep Le Lepla was a fixture at CHS for 30 years as an educator and is still with her presence today. She has served as a chief for girls soccer, volleyball, band, and cheerleaders. She did scorebook for basketball games and currently stays involved with our high school and the community choirs. Mrs. Lepla continued to this day gives new CHS staff a hilarious tour of Coshocton, where I personally met my wife 20 years ago. And she, along with Marty Bickle, were the originators of the always enjoyable CHS Faculty Awards, a tradition that the staff looks forward to each year. In short, her legacy at CHS is still felt today. When I think of Coshocton High School, when I think of Coshocton Redskin, when I think of Coshocton Pride, I think of Ann Lepla. So please help me welcome our commencement speaker, a member of the class of 1969, Mrs. Ann Lepla. fall that would be awful anyway I am so very very honored to be here I can't tell you it is tremendous honor but it's nerve-wracking I want to tell you that too but I want to thank mr. Loomis for the wonderful introduction he did such a fine job there you go thank you. <laughs> He left out some of the things that I was hoping he would leave out. That was, thank you again. The details of the uh, tours and the details of the faculty awards assemblies, he left those out. That was a good thing. So anyway, good afternoon. I am so honored to be here today. And thank you to someone, I don't know who it is, for the glorious sorta, kinda, air conditioning. Now, Mr. Loomis told me back in January when he asked me to do this, that this gym was now air conditioned. And I went, oh wow, that's great. Well, it's not exactly air conditioned. But it is cooler, so be grateful. Graduates, be grateful you're not dripping because sometimes it would be awfully hot. Okay. 
And congratulations to the class of 2022. What an achievement. And yes, I held some of you as infants. That would be you, little Shooky. Where are you? Where are you, little Shooky? Where's little Shooky? Where is he? I don't see it. Oh, there you are. And, and Jacob Lonsberry was another one. Is he here today, I hope? Where's Jacob? Over there. Okay. That's just a couple. But those two, and look, here you are, all of you, all grown up, and you look so good, and you've done so well. I'm so proud of you. It's great to see all of you. And congratulations to the families and friends of these graduates, too. They, they've done a great job. And congratulations to the class of 1972. I bet you never thought you'd be here, did you? 50 years after you graduated, being honored at graduation. So congratulations to all of you. You all look wonderful, really. Okay, and now for you graduates, this is your day. Remember that, it's your day. It's the best, one of the best days of your life. It's your day. I'm guessing most of you are already tired of sitting. Am I right? Yep, and a little bit nervous, right? Am I right? Okay, well, we're gonna fix that because I'm really nervous too, so I'm gonna fix it for myself. We're going to play a little game. This, can, this um, needs participation from the graduates only. Sorry, parents, adults, you don't get to play. Just the kids. Okay, Simon says, and I know you know all the rules, you only do what Simon says. Okay, you ready? Okay. Simon says, stand up. Very good. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Good job. Simon says, turn around and wave to your family and friends. Hey, there we go. All right. Okay, Simon says, turn back around. Okay, you can sit down. Oh, you guys are way too good at this. Way too good. Okay, Simon says, sit down. <laughs> and that ball, I hope it doesn't get up here, because you might mess up my hair, you know? <laughs> oh, see? You're going to, somebody grab that ball. Okay. Okay. You will all be leaving here today with a Coshocton High School diploma. A very nervous Mr. Loomis has a pile of them waiting for you. They're yours, you've earned them, and no one can take them away. It's not been an easy journey. You have successfully navigated a worldwide pandemic. Unheard of. No classes, part-time classes, remote learning, non-remote learning, uh, masking, no masking, canceled events, and even a prom at the football field. How about that? What an achievement and what a journey. Good for you. <laughs> but you will also be leaving here today with something else. You have them, each and every one of you have them, and no one can take them away from you either. They are the inherent, that means built in, they're just automatically built in, values of a small town. They were free, no tests, no papers, no speeches, no nothing. You didn't even have to turn cartwheels to get them. It was great. And you will use them, maybe not for a long time, 
but trust me, you will use them, and they will be there for you. They're not on paper, but they're in your hearts. And they'll be there for you for the rest of your life. Now, what are, what am I talking about? Small town values? Okay, I, now if you're a numbers person, there are four, four examples. So one, two, three, four, you can count and know when I'm done. Okay, a friend of mine in Columbia, Missouri, had a friend die suddenly. And the other friends of the family had no idea what to do for this family. They were just like, whoa, you know. My friend organized a luncheon for the family to have after the funeral service so they could have some private time together. Now, Columbia is a large university city, but no one had an idea what to do for this family. My friend, a graduate of CHS, she did. Her small town roots saved the day. Number two, Dr. John Sue is the head of neurology, neurology oncology at the Cleveland Clinic. His patients have cancerous brain tumors. He said that his background growing up in the small town of Coshocton gave him more preparation and more understanding to help with his patients and their families at very difficult times. He was also a grad from CHS, small town roots again. Number three, my brother-in-law, Steve Lepla, he graduated in 1975 from CHS. You guys probably knew him. Don't tell everything. He now lives in San Diego, California. He organized a 3K fundraiser walk for a friend of his who was uh, stricken with ALS, that's Lou Gehrig's disease, and needed expensive care. His friend has passed away, but the walk goes on today. And all the monies they collect from this 3K walk go to ALS research. Small town values shining through again. And just number four, this is it. And just about a month ago, a friend of mine right here in Coshocton, she's in the balcony, had a flat tire on Cambridge Road. Imagine that. A young man drove by, turned around, came back, changed her tire. She had no idea who he was but he was one of those CHS grads. He had just come from the high school. He was going home. Small town values once again. So those are just four specific examples. But how do those really relate to you, right? You know, you're not planning on having a flat tire. So you will all be traveling different paths, but these little small town values will follow you wherever you go. You will be the one to shovel your neighbor's driveway or mow their lawn when they aren't able. You will be the one to coach Little League football, basketball, baseball, whatever, swimming, just because. You will be the one to host a block party for your neighborhood. If you join the military, you will be the one who will sit and listen to a very homesick buddy. If you take the college route, you will be the one with a level head and the room that will, everyone will gravitate to because in your room, there will be no judgment passed. If you join the workforce, you will arrive on time. You won't call off and you will be a hard worker and dependable. If you become a stay-at-home mom or dad, a domestic engineer, and I want to tell you, that is the hardest job in the whole world. You will be there in any situation. You will be the one with a calm mind and the go-to person in a crisis. I'm not making this up. This will really happen. Ask your parents or ask someone from the class of 1972. 
and hopefully some of you will return and be community leaders. Just like some of these people sitting right behind me, three of which I had in my classroom. Oh, so, but I hope you all, some of you come back to do that. No worries. You have these values now and forever. Walk out of here today proudly with your diploma in your hand and your small town values tucked in your heart. Congratulations to each and every one of you. We will now present diplomas and diploma covers to those students in the class of 2022 meeting the requirements for graduation set forth by Coshocton City Schools and the State of Ohio. Albert Joe Abel. Vaughn Markel Ajeku. Blake Robert Alexander. Aliyah Allen. Jay Allen. Corey James Alvarez. CJ Haley Bechtel. Ella Brooks Bible. Chloe Ray Bickle. Olivia Grace Blust. Jaden Susanna May Brink. Dominic X. Brown. Olivia Michelle Brown. Quincy Michael Marte Bussey. Alexis Ann Cayley. Natalie R. Campbell. Lucas Matthew Casey. Lakin Brianne Colburn. Katie Ann Collins. Antoinette M. Camarada. Nicole Andre T. Corey. John W. Courtney. Allison Jean Cox. Olivia Faye Cramlett. Brandon Crown.
Michaela Marie Custer. Carly Dawson. Jarrett D. Detweiler. Jacob A. Deshong. Ethan E. Dixon. Sydney Grace Nicole Diostroff. Ella A. Dooling. Jaron P. Entrican. Kylie Ann Michelle Fender. Caitlin Ray Fick. JC McKenna Franks. Tirza Ferguson. Logan Spencer George. Andrew Jeremiah Gibson. Kiana Glosser. Jonathan E. Gray. Clifford Lee Gruel, Jr. Caitlin M. Grundy. Allie Haynes. Corbin James Carter Haley. Chloe E. Hall. Elijah Caden Hall. Tig Andrew Hardesty. Grace Ann Hawthorne. Jeffrey Scott Hill Jr. Zen Michael Howard. Alexander William Jason Huffman. Trinity Christine Highsong. Kevin Gabriel Jackson. Nicholissa Kendall Jackson. Kenzie Alexis Jacobs. Abram Jarvis. Savannah Danielle Jennings. Zachary Russell Jennings. Autumn Renee Jones. Brant K. Kirkpatrick. Brenna K. Kirkpatrick.
Isabella Raquel Nicely. Quinton R. Coble. Guinevere Jacqueline Kreider. Elwood Jake Kreider. Alec Sebastian Lopper. Clarissa Leanne Lanham. Crystal Lindsay Levi. Connor Lips. Jacob Thomas Lonsberry. Ricky Dean Madison III. Coda Lee McCloy. Liberty Ann McFadden. Isabella S. Miller. Peyton Nicole Maudlin. Jason Moore, Jr. Alyssa Leanne Moran. Cadence Kylie Mortensen. Keely Ronnell Murray. Judah James Nelson. Kaylee Nelson. Jessica Jaden McKenna Pollen. Jackson D. Philibong. Charles Wesley David Prince. Bradford Allen Queen. Luke Stephen Ramsey. Kaylee A. Rice. Jared Thomas Radabush. Kobe Shane Ryan Rust. Patrick David Shannon. Isaac Carl Shook. Cole Michael Snyder. Aiden Patrick Stein. Cassidy G. Tarman. Dalton Michael Thornsley. Cheyenne Lynn Thurston. Tree Min Tran. Elena Nicole Verhelli. Olivia Grace Walters. Yeah! 
Zenhao Wang. Portland Marie Wiley. James David Williams. Landon Allen Wentz. Thomas Robert Wright. Laura Frau. Lucia Gomez Mateos. Laura Tejon Morrigan. Paula Mas Nieto. Beatrice Tani. Would the class of 2022 please stand? Yeah! Would the class of 2022 please join me in singing the alma mater? Class of 2022. Yeah. 